and welcome to my channel. Today I thought it would be fun to compare some other foundations to the Infallibles from L'Oreal. This is in the shade 430 and it's a 24 hour wear foundation. I did um, in my previous video, I did a first impressions video on the L'Oreal Infallibles and if you missed that video, I will link it down below. But today I am comparing the Revlon 24 hour color stay and also the CoverGirl True Blend Matte in the shade 30 and also the Maybelline Fit Me Plus Dewy in the shade 210 or Sandy Beige. So I'm comparing all four of these together and I will let you guys decide in the comments down below which one that you liked best. And also let me know if you guys were able to tell a difference between them. Um, and yeah, if, you, if this is something you are interested in watching, then keep on watching. And let's get started. To get started, I'm gonna do the L'Oreal Invaluables on my right side and then I will move on and put the Revlon 24 hour on the left side. I forgot to mention in my previous video of my first impressions, this is really smooth. It goes on smooth and lightweight. It barely felt like I was wearing makeup. Like I obviously knew I was wearing it, but it's really, really lightweight. Not full coverage, but it is buildable, so that's nice. And like when I say it's buildable, even when I'm like putting on more layers of it, it still feels really lightweight and not heavy at all. And it's really matte too. <laughs> Okay, so next we are going to do the 24 hour Revlon color stay on the other side. I'm gonna still use my beauty blender. Now this one, the 24 hour color stay is the one I started using before the CoverGirl True Blend Matte one came in. And I waited forever for that one. It felt like forever to get here. And this one feels a little more wet. and also not full coverage. If you guys have a full coverage drugstore brand in mind, let me know and I'll give that one a try. Because I, I can't find one. I definitely like the squeeze bottle compared to the one that you have to like pour. I don't know about you guys, but <laughs> it just seems easier to feel squirt. 
a little bit out. So and valuables, Revlon. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference. So this side looks way smooth. Like it just blended in my pores and on, on top of my skin a whole lot better. Whereas this side looks more dry and um, cakey. I don't know if you guys can see that. And I can tell I'm wearing makeup on the side. Like it feels heavier. It's kind of sticky. This side, not that sticky. I mean, still because I just put it on, but this side seems more sticky and more heavy. color is pretty close to matching so it kind of looks like I'm from probably for you guys it probably looks like I'm wearing the same foundation on both sides okay I'm going to take this side off and then I'll go in with the covergirl true blend so I'll be right back okay here I am with the covergirl true blend I'm going on my left Again, this one feels really wet feeling. And this one is leaving, I don't know if you can see that, but it's leaving specks. I don't know what that is. It's leaving specks of something on my skin. I'll try to zoom in when I edit to see if you guys can see that. Also, there's a hurricane about 500 miles north of us, and so it's really windy. I'm sure you guys can hear the wind in the background noise. I'm kind of confused at what that white specks are. I don't see anything on my beauty blender and I don't see anything in the actual liquid. Hmm. Strange. Can you see? When I first tried this one, I was getting red streaks, like when I would use my brush and I would put it on, I'd go like this and then I would see a red streak and I'm like, oh my gosh, am I bleeding somewhere? But it was in the actual foundation, so I'm wondering if it didn't get mixed right. Okay. Again, the color match is similar to the Infallibles. At least to me it is. And this side feels heavier. I can I barely feel anything on this side. I miss part of my nose. And 
and then this it feels cakey it looks cakey too whereas this one just sits smoothly on my face And then I have these specks of something. I don't know what that is. Okay, moving on. Now I'm going to do the dewy, smooth dewy from um, Maybelline. I know that this isn't really a 24 hour one and it's dewy, so it's not matte like these ones are. Um, but I thought I'd give it a try, compare it, maybe to see how it feels weight wise. So, be right back. Okay, I applied both of these off camera because I wanted to play a little game with you guys. I want you guys to decide which side is the L'Oreal Valuables and what side is the Maybelline Dewy Smooth. So comment down below which side you think is which. So in my opinion, the Maybelline Dewy one went on pretty similar to the Infallibles. And they both sit on my face pretty similar, which is kind of weird because the L'Oreal Infallibles is kind of a matte color and the Maybelline Dewy is obviously, obviously supposed to be more dewy. And I can barely tell the difference. Can you guys tell? So this side is the Invaluables, and this side I switched up on you guys is the Dewy, Maybelline Dewy and Smooth. So I will be right back. I am going to take this all off and redo my face and I'll be right back.
and here's my finished look for today. I hope you, you enjoyed this video. It was pretty fun. I thought it would be pretty interesting to compare um, all these foundations together. And let me know which one was your favorite in the comments down below. And I hope to do more videos like this. And yeah. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you give it a thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe. Ring that bell notification so you are notified of my next video. And I will see you next time. Bye.